Hello there, this is Felix and you're welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we're going to be learning how to create a read-only text box. As you can see here, I have a text box here which says you can only read me. And if I try to type something inside of this text box, it never allows me because it's a read-only text box. Okay, so let's check that. Let's see how that can be done. And it's so, so easy and simple than you can imagine. So let's quickly see that here inside of my body section i'm going to create a text box if we check this on our browser now we can see that this is a default text box here which can be edited you can put information as many as you want inside of this text box and it allows you so inside of our editor what we're going to be doing is we're going to assign an attribute and that attribute is what we're going to uh, enable this text box to be a read only text box so over here we are going to add the attribute of read only let's let's give it a placeholder here so you see you can only read me okay so if we quickly refresh this okay wait there's a mistake somewhere okay to be placeholder okay so as you can see here I have my text box here which says you can only read me and with this attribute of read only it makes sure that this text box is a read only text box and there's no way you can edit whatsoever inside of this text box okay there's also another attribute that you can assign which is disabled and as you can see it has been grayed out there's no way you can put information of inside of this text box as well but the difference between the read only attribute and then the disabled is that with the read only uh, let's see with the read only you can only read and you can never edit it but in case you're using php and you want to send some information to the database it only reads the information only but it it only disables the text box but the information inside of that text box is still valid and can be sent to the database but with the disable with a disabled attribute it disables the text box and you can never edit it it also disables the value inside of that text box so it can never be sent to a database so that, that is the difference between using uh, the read only attribute and then the disabled attribute so that is all for this video tutorial i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope you've learned a lot thanks for watching you can like it and comment below bye